This is Celebrity Thursdays. Every Thursday, we present you with another celebrity. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Tom Hiddleston. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting, lesser known facts about British actor Tom Hiddleston. Thomas Hiddleston was born February 9, 1981 in London, England. He developed an interest in acting as a way to cope with his parents' divorce when he was a young teenager. He primarily appeared in stage productions until his film debut in Unrelated in 2006. He gained much wider recognition when he was cast as Loki in the 2011 film Thor, and he reprised that role for the fourth time in the 2018 film Avengers Infinity War. His other films include Midnight in Paris, The Deep Blue Sea, War Horse, Muppets Most Wanted, and Kong Skull Island. He's also the producer and star of the television series The Night Manager. We want to learn some more about Tom because he's one of the most in-demand actors in the world right now, and he's shown where talent, ambition, perseverance, and focus can take you. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So let's now take a closer look at this influential star with the 15 things you didn't know about Tom Hiddleston. Number 1. He is a Cambridge graduate. Unlike so many high-profile actors who fail to finish college or even high school, Tom earned an impressive double first degree in classics at Cambridge University. Double first means that he graduated with first class honors, which is a distinction that fewer than 3% of students achieve. He then went on to study at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, from which he graduated in 2005. Number 2. He was the most Googled actor in the world back in 2016. Tom had a great 2016 as his TV series The Night Manager was first introduced. He also had the distinction of being the number one most searched actor on Google over the entire year and the 10th most searched person overall. With over 7.4 billion people in the world, that's quite an impressive stat. Donald Trump was at the top of the most searched list, followed by Hillary Clinton, Michael Phelps, Melania Trump, Bernie Sanders, and Celine Dion. Number 3. His father tried to discourage him from being an actor. Tom's father was the managing director of a biotech company in Oxford, and he worked hard to give Tom the best education that his money could buy. This is one reason why he was so disappointed when Tom wanted to become an actor. He told Tom that 99% of actors are unemployed and that he had the education to make something of himself. So he asked him why would he want to spend his life pretending to be different people when he could be his own man. Thankfully, Hiddleston decided to pursue his passion of acting and was not held back by his father's discouraging words. Number 4. He originally auditioned to play Thor. It's no secret that Tom's breakthrough role was Loki, as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but that wasn't his original goal. He actually first auditioned for the role of Thor. Director Kenneth Banagh said that Tom wowed the room in his audition, but he didn't quite fit their version for the role as much as Chris Hemsworth did. Tom now credits Branagh with launching his career, saying that no other director had enough faith in him that he could deliver something on that level. Number 5. His net worth is $20 million Tom has starred in some very successful box office hits and has managed to bank around $20 million for his relatively short film career. However, many of his paydays weren't as high as you would expect. It's not known how much he earned for the first Thor movie, but it is known that Chris Hemsworth only made $200,000 playing the lead character, so you can be sure that Tom was paid considerably less. However, he did make $160,000 reprising the role of Loki in the Avengers movie in 2012. His combined roles in his over 20 films, plus his television show, have already allowed him to have a luxurious life, and his bank balance is sure to only rise from here. Number 6. His biggest flop was 2016's I Saw the Light. 
Never heard of the film I Saw the Light? You're not the only one. In the 2016 film, Tom plays country music legend Hank Williams, who died of heart failure at the young age of 29. To prepare for the role, he worked with a voice coach for two hours daily to perfect the Southern American accent, and he also went on a strict diet and exercised religiously to lose weight for the part. He also impressively sang all of the songs in the film himself, and although Tom says he is very proud of the film, it is considered his biggest flop. It grossed only $1.8 million worldwide after being made on a $13 million budget. Number 7. His Golden Globe speech resulted in controversy. Tom was labeled self-righteous and out of touch thanks to his 2017 Golden Globe speech when he accepted the award for Best Actor in a miniseries for his role on The Night Manager. In his speech, he focused on his volunteer work in the South Sudan and how proud he was that his work could provide entertainment for medics who binge-watched his show, all while shelling broke out in the country. The speech caused a huge backlash on social media, where the nicest critics called his speech boring, while the others called it self-serving and self-congratulatory. Tom posted an apology for his speech the following day, saying that he was just nervous and his only intention was to salute the bravery and courage of the volunteer workers in the region. Number 8. His Jaguar Commercial Was Banned in 2014, Hiddleston starred in a two-minute commercial for the Jaguar F-Type Coupe, titled The Art of Villainy. However, the Advertising Standards Authority received some complaints about the commercial, which stated it encouraged irresponsible driving. Jaguar Land Rover tried to defend their commercial by confirming the police were on the set of the shoot and made sure the car never went above the speed limit. Even so, the ASA decided to ban the commercial, and Jaguar was warned not to show ads that encourage irresponsible driving again in the future. But of course, the internet is a beautiful thing, and the ad can still be seen on YouTube. Number 9. He went to the same boarding school as Prince Harry and Eddie Redmayne. After his parents divorced when he was 12, Tom began attending the prestigious all-male Eton College boarding school in England. He continued to study there until he left to study at Cambridge at the age of 18, and during the time he was attending the school, so was Prince Harry and actor Eddie Redmayne. Other famous graduates of Eton include Prince William, Bear Grylls, Hugh Laurie, and Orson Welles. Number 10. He owns a $6.7 million home in London. Tom is very private about where he lives, so only select visitors have seen the $6.7 million home he bought in 2006 in Primrose Hill, one of the most expensive residential areas in London. The four-bedroom estate used to be an artist's studio and is separated from the outside world by an electronic gate and two courtyards. Learn some more about Tom's hometown by clicking in the top right corner to watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About London. Number 11. He bought a Peugeot 106 with his first big paycheck. Hiddleston's first relatively large paycheck came from the TV movie The Life and Times of Nicholas Nickleby in 2011. He spent the entire check on a Peugeot 106. He drove it exclusively for the next 10 years around France and Spain, but the car met an unfortunate end when it was stolen one night by teenage joyriders in London who wrecked the car beyond repair. Thankfully for the actor, though, he was given a Jaguar F-Type after being featured in a number of ads for the car company, and he says it's much more fun to drive than his old Peugeot. Number 12. His iHeart TS tank top was spoofed in a Taylor Swift video. In 2006, Tom expressed his affection for then-girlfriend Taylor Swift by wearing a tank top that boldly stated I Heart TS at her annual 4th of July party, although he said he only wore it as a joke. He may have immediately regretted that choice as he became the butt of several jokes himself, including one by Robert Downey Jr., who claimed that the TS stood for Tony Stark, otherwise known as Iron Man. Tom and Taylor broke up in August of 2016, but the tank top came back to haunt him once again in the video for Taylor's song Look What You Made Me Do when her dancers briefly sported I Love TS crop tops. It's also rumored that Taylor's song Getaway Car was written about their short relationship. Number 13. He watched a real-life autopsy to prepare for his role in High Rise. 
The 2015 film High Rise is about a luxury high rise whose residents are isolated from the outside world, and due to a series of events, life inside the high rise eventually dissolves into chaos. In his starring role in the film, Hiddleston has to perform an autopsy on a severed head, which was a prosthetic, of course. To prepare for this scene, though, he took it upon himself to contact a forensic pathologist, and he watched him perform an autopsy on a human corpse. Tom said by no means was it an easy experience, but he did learn what he needed to know to make his acting authentic. Number 14. Woody Allen sent him a letter to ask him to be in Midnight in Paris. Hiddleston was shocked to receive a letter in 2010 from none other than Woody Allen himself. The letter contained only three sentences that said, Dear Tom, I'm making a movie in Paris this summer. I attached some pages. I'd love for you to play the role of Scott. Obviously, Tom jumped at the opportunity, even though he didn't know his character was actually F. Scott Fitzgerald, and he only read 15 pages of the script. He said the whole experience was surreal, like a dream. Number 15. His films have grossed nearly $4.5 billion worldwide. Tom has only been appearing in big-name movies for about seven years, so it's quite impressive that his movies have a combined gross of $4.49 billion. This is largely due to the success of The Avengers, which grossed $1.5 million worldwide and is now the fifth highest grossing film in history. His other credits include Thor Ragnarok, with $854 million in earnings, Thor The Dark World, with a gross of $644 million, and Kong Skull Island, which brought in $566 million. And there you have it, Alexers, some interesting, lesser-known facts about Tom Hiddleston. Now that you've learned some more about him, we'd like to know, who do you think would make a better James Bond? Tom Hiddleston? Tom Hardy, Idris Elba, or someone else? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Of course you are. Here's your bonus fact. Number 16. He missed his best friend's wedding to audition for War Horse. Tom is definitely ambitious, but that ambition can sometimes get in the way of his personal relationships. In 2010, when his best friend was getting married, Hiddleston promised he would be there no matter what, even if Steven Spielberg called. Well, Steven Spielberg did call, and Tom decided he would miss his best friend's wedding to audition for a part in War Horse. Tom did get the part, but his friend was understandably angry, and they didn't speak for a while. But the good news? Tom said eventually they had it out, got drunk together, and all was forgiven. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.